I'll tell you what, if there's ever a chance that I get to work with Streamlabs or Logitech, yeah, that's about to fly out the window. If you've known me for a while, you'll know that I'm not exactly the biggest fan of Streamlabs OBS. No, Gavin. These do not work in Streamlabs OBS. Does this work with Streamlabs OBS? A lot of you guys have been asking me, why didn't you use slobs? What's wrong with slobs? Why aren't you switching over to slobs? I'm like, it's my life, man. Let me do what I want. I know that there are a lot of you guys who are still using slobs, despite me recommending that you don't. So today I'm gonna go through all of the reasons for why you should uninstall Streamlabs OBS today and switch over to OBS Studio. Just keep in mind, guys, this is just my opinion. So don't go arguing in the comments, all right? Okay, let's start the video. What's up guys, it's Nutty. So before we get into the reasons why I don't use Streamlabs OBS, can, by the way, can we call it slobs? You guys know what I mean when I call it slobs? It's important for you guys to know what slobs actually is. So I'm sure you all know what OBS Studio is. It's the software that you use to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Mixer. <laughs> Got him, boys. OBS Studio is open source, which means any smart person can come along, modify the source code to make it do whatever they want. Well, in comes Streamlabs. They're most well known for their alert system. So every time you get a donation or a follow, an alert comes up on your stream. Streamlabs has come along and said, we don't like the interface for OBS Studio. We don't think it provides the features that streamers need. So what they did is they created what's called a fork of OBS Studio and then they created their own user interface over the top of it. By building their own user interface, they're able to integrate their entire alert system into OBS so that you, the streamer, only need to have one program running to see all of your alerts, your donations, run your stream, and even build up your overlay by adding widgets to full-blown themes. This in theory sounds great, like doesn't it make streaming a lot easier? Well, I'm about to tell you why it's not great, Jamal. The first reason is that slobs is just bloated. It comes with things like custom themes, chatbots, even an app store, just a whole bunch of things that you may or may not need. It's kind of like when you buy a new phone and it comes with all this carrier software, which you're never gonna use, like it's 20 2020 man, why are phones still coming out that still have Candy Crush on them? I don't know, maybe it's like a boomer thing because my dad still plays Candy Crush. So shout outs to my dad, by the way, because he's been watching my videos lately for some reason and it's super awkward. Now this wouldn't be a huge deal, but streaming and gaming at the same time is already taxing enough as it is. And chances are most of you guys are probably not streaming on $5,000 PCs with like a 2080 Ti, Threadripper with like diamond encrusted RAM or wh whatever multi-millionaires put in their PCs nowadays. Most of you guys are streaming on mid-range PCs and you wanna save as much system resources as possible and prioritize your viewer's experience and having as smooth gameplay as possible. I always have people leaving comments and then coming into my Discord and being like, slobs is lagging, I don't know what's happening, and then they switch over to OBS Studio and they're like, oh wait, everything's fine now. Now I do understand that adding things like alerts in OBS Studio take a little bit of extra work, like it's not that hard, and I think you as the streamer need to go that extra mile so that you have the best viewing experience possible, even if it does take a little bit of extra time. The the second problem with slobs is that because it's a fork of OBS, every time a big OBS update comes out, slobs is going to lag behind. For example, there's an update, I think about last year, where if you run OBS Studio in admin mode, it solves a lot of problems with like lag and stuttering that people were having for years. Now I may be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure slobs took a couple months to get that update, and the reason for that is when OBS releases an update, Streamlabs has to come in, merge all of those changes back into their code base, and that could take a couple months to test and iron out. So for you, when some big exciting new feature comes to OBS Studio and you're on slobs, well then you just have to wait, bro, because that's just how it works. Reason number three, plugin support. Uh, this might actually be the number one reason that's keeping me from ever even considering using Streamlabs OBS. You guys probably already know this by now, but on this channel, we cover a lot of different OBS plugins and every single plugin video I do, I always have to give a disclaimer saying, this does not work in Streamlabs OBS. And then I do this thing where I like give a generic name like Jamal or something, it's pretty funny. And a lot of these plugins that you can use for OBS can really make your stream 
can really make your stream stand out and I literally could not run my stream without them. Like there's a plugin to do these really super smooth scene transitions or add like a blur effect to your camera or manipulate your camera and rotate it in 3D space. There are even things for doing freeze frames, instant replays, advanced audio filters to make your mic sound amazing. There are all sorts of things that you can add to OBS with plugins and I'm sure some of these things you could probably do in slobs but for the most part Almost every plugin that I look at on this channel, it doesn't work with slobs. In fact, a while back I even looked at a third party program called Leoran Board that allows Twitch chat to control OBS with channel points or Twitch messages. Like, stuff like that just straight up doesn't support slobs. I've talked with a lot of developers who are creating all of these tools and features that are really really useful for streamers and they almost always only support OBS Studio and don't support slobs either because it's they just don't want to or they can't because slobs is just built differently to OBS Studio. Reason number four, if you use slobs, you're basically locked into using the Streamlabs alert platform. A lot of people who are new to streaming aren't even aware that there are other ways that you can have alerts onto your stream, like you don't need to use Streamlabs to get alerts. There might be another alert system out there that you might like better than Streamlabs OBS, like for example, Stream Elements. Now technically this one isn't true because if you really wanted to use Stream Elements with slobs, well, you could do it, you just add like all of your alerts as like browser sources. But like at that point, why are you even using slobs? Like the whole reason that you use slobs is because it makes it really, really easy to just like right click and add a widget like a donation goal or right click and add an alert. Like if you're using stream elements and slobs, that's just like a really weird combo and I've to be honest, I've never seen anyone actually do that. So yeah, pretty much if you're going to be using slobs, then you're most likely going to be using Streamlabs as your alert platform. And to be honest with you, I don't really like Streamlabs anymore. Like back in the day when it was Twitch alerts, I used to use it and it was great back then. But since then, they haven't really added anything innovative. I mean, they have like these cool like free themes. They added that, which was cool. But then like Logitech came in, they bought them out and they're like, you know what, just kidding. We're going to start charging you guys for this now. Like, but yeah, and by the way, uh, monthly subscription too with the zero dollars that you make from your stream. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, right? Reason number five, uh, the name, like slobs, like, come on, man. Who wants to be associated with a program called slobs, you know, OBS studio. Doesn't that sound way more professional? I don't know, I kind of just like, uh, I just wanted to make this a top five list. Like, like, come on, you guys wouldn't have clicked this video if it said top four list, you know, that's lame. Now, don't get me wrong, Slobs isn't all bad. They do have some legitimately good features that I really wish they did add to OBS Studio. Like for example, there's a feature in Slobs that allows you to define different transitions when you're transitioning between scenes, and it works really, really well in Slobs. I wish they added that to OBS Studio. Like I know you can add it in OBS Studio with a plugin called OBS transition matrix, but like the UI is just insane for like, you know what? I'm just going to show you right now. Like, check this out. Like, look at this. There's like this. You can see this is the menu. Like, do if I expand this menu to see the whole window, like, look at this. It ex expands like th across all three of my monitors. Like, what the hell is this, man? Like, who designed this? They also have an undo feature. So like when you mess something up in slobs, you can just click undo to undo it. Like they don't have that in OBS Studio. Another big one is that all of your scenes and settings are linked to the account you log in with. So let's say for example, maybe your PC just catches fire and explodes, or maybe you wanna go over to your friend's house. Like if, if you have friends, like I don't, I don't. You can just log in with your Streamlabs account and then all of your scenes and settings are going to be exactly the same. Like that's really, really useful. They also have features that are really useful for people who have single monitor setups. So that's also really useful. Also, Pokey uses slobs. Like, you know what? Just forget everything I just talked about in this video. Like slobs is the best thing ever. So it's not all bad with slobs, despite how much I've been whinging and moaning in this video. It's important to note that just because I like to run my stream a certain way, 
that doesn't mean that you have to run your stream exactly the same way. Now, I can already see some people being like, what about OBS Live? Like, come on. If you're gonna comment that, like, give me a tier four sub on Twitch. If you don't know what OBS.Live is, it's basically the stream elements version of OBS. As far as I know, OBS Live is literally just OBS Studio, but then they installed a plugin over the top of it. So it's not like Slobs. Slobs uses the same core library as OBS Studio, but it's not the same thing as OBS Studio. So the great thing with OBS Live is you're not gonna have all of those problems that you have with Slobs because it's literally just OBS Studio. So that means you're gonna be able to install all your plugins. You're not gonna have some overly bloated software. And to be perfectly honest, I don't even understand the point of OBS Live. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong about this, but I think all OBS Live does is it adds an activity window inside of OBS so that you can view all of your latest subs and donations. But you can already do that in OBS. Like you just go to your custom browser docs and then you add a link to your activity window in Stream Elements. And then it's like exactly the same thing. So I don't really understand the point of OBS Live. Maybe it has some features that I just don't know about. So if it does, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Guys, I know some of you are still going to use slobs even after watching this, and that's totally fine. Cause like, let's be real. I know a lot of you guys just watched this video because you want you just wanted me to validate your own opinion. Like, let be be honest with me. So if that is you and you still want to use slobs, don't worry. Next week's video, we're gonna be talking about something that actually does work with slobs. So make sure you're subscribed to see that video. Also, if you want to talk to other streamers or talk about slobs, make sure to join the Discord. We have over 3,000 members now, which is just insane to me. Also, I stream on Twitch. You guys can catch me four nights a week. We're we're always talking about this stuff. But with that being said, go out and uninstall slobs or don't or do whatever you want. I'll see you guys next week, all right? Peace out.